Welcome to uh, Working the Web to Win. Today's our little holiday special, as you can tell by the festive hats. Okay, and to. what we're basically going to do is talk about, it's kind of like the Ghost of Christmas Past. We're going to talk about some of the episodes and some of the blogs that have really made a big splash this year. Yeah, uh, again, if you haven't been paying attention, 2016 was a wild ride. I mean, a lot of things going on. I mean, we obviously had a presidential election. Yeah, I was going to say, even, even without the presidential election, it was a pretty bumpy ride. Uh, I mean, that was... Unprecedented, obviously. Right. I mean, it was a whole, whole ba bailiwick of different things. But there are a lot of other things that really happened during the year that are that are pretty significant. For example, Google really fired up this year, Rank Brain, and really started monkeying around yeah, with the algorithm, with, with the algorithm yeah. and all that kind of stuff, and making it very, very difficult for anybody who wanted to be on page one of Google search organically. Right. To add to that, they were messing around with the search results. I mean, they were literally skewing the results. You know, I saw people on TV the other day saying about, you know, hey, you know, the news was really concentrated on all the bad emails from Hillary and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, that's what made her lose the election. Well, that, that and then they're also blaming the Russians for hacking right. the DNC. It's, well, like, but it's here, like that was the only thing that, that affected the outcome. But here's the thing. For the whole year, yeah. All the news media was saying how wonderful Hillary was and all this other kind of stuff, and that she was going to win no matter what, and she had double digit, you know. Right. I mean, the, the news was skewed mostly for the whole year, except for the last month. Right. You know, and here's the thing when I looked back at the articles, we had an article in January. Right. It was about the presidential election, because, I mean, it was just getting fired up. And that article was about, you know, what do presidential candidates know? Right, about the internet. About the internet. Mm -hmm. And and it talked about, you know, going back a few years, right. when did they start really using it and all that kind of stuff. But the most interesting part of the article to me was when you looked at the end, when we talked about the current presidential election, there was a, a, a blog called Powdered Wig Society. And their blog said that, you know, Donald Trump was going to win by 375 electoral votes and he was just going to trounce Hillary and she right. was going to get 163. Well, they didn't quite come out right. It was 304 or something, right. you know, whatever. Uh, but he won despite the tremendous onslaught, if you ask me, of the normal media well, trying to skew the results. Plus I mean, the fact that, I mean, Hillary was spending like crazy, like right. a fucking sailor. She outsold him, outspent him at least four or five to one. And that's, I mean, she spent close to probably a billion dollars overall between all the things that they were doing, yeah. and he's probably spent... 200, 300 million, 200 million, I mean, which still... Pocket change. It's still, <laughs> it's still a lot of money. I mean, I would, just give me 10% of that if you're happy. Um, but that was one of the interesting things. You know, here we kick off the year. We got right. this article and essentially was very predictive. And although the, the average media was saying, you know, that's crap. There's no way in hell he can win. He's a clown and blah, 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 and so on. Um, this article that we did is a little bit different in that... Um, it's, it's designed not just to talk about the year. It's also mm -hmm. designed to teach you a little bit about how we do things, to understand, you know, what we look at, you know, how we measure stuff and so on. Because uh, we measure, when we're looking at our blog in particular, we're looking at how often people read them. Right. Okay. How many reads does an article get? Right. Does it have staying power? That is, right. is it evergreen in nature? Reviews. And, and uh, reviews people mm -hmm. give it, comments people mm -hmm. give it, and then how often people plus it. And if you're doing a blog, those are the kinds of things you really need to be looking right. at. It's feedback. Because you if you need. get that useful feedback and yeah. you really can get that machine going, now you have a sellable entity right. that you can sell advertising on yeah. for yourself. Yeah. And, and it's a way of generating profit that can produce right. marketing money well, for you. Plus, you know, as part of the mix, like I said, obviously, you know, we, our business has a lot to do with online marketing, but the Internet has to do with a whole lot more. So right. that's why we, we cover things like robotics, and we covered a lot of different topics that really had nothing to do with online marketing, but were internet related. Right. We did a lot of IoT stuff this year. Right. Of course, things on cybercrime because we did that's one of the stuff things on robotics and artificial intelligence. Right. We did one of several. Well, we did at least one on telemedicine. I know because yeah. one of them was in the, in the list and so on. So we did a lot of stuff about a lot of different things, and those articles have to do with what's going on in the world of the internet. Right. Now, before we get too deep into the show, I want to just remind everybody you can't call in today because we're really not here. <laughs> I mean, if you call it, <laughs> this is pre-recorded. I don't know. So I, I think I'm here. Hector's. Hector well, I mean, I'm, is, I'm, I'm sure. maybe on the on the screen, but we're not in studio, <laughs> so you can't call in today. Uh, but you still can go to the website workingthewebdo1.com, and you can also yeah. find the links on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus, and so on. And actually, 
we're starting to experimenting with doing uh, Facebook live streaming, so that'll be sort of cool. And in, in the new year, we're going to be doing a lot of that. I also want to make sure that you go to visit our sponsor, Vibrant Life Health Center. They have a great show that's on Thursdays. It's called Life in Balance. And their show is really all about understanding natural medicine, alternative medicine, mm -hmm. the things that you can do without taking all kinds of drugs and stuff like that, yeah. and still live a healthy and balanced life. Because, I mean, they really are a great chiropractic uh, center. They also have all kinds of really helpful things for supplement supplementation. Mm -hmm. They have a great weight loss program called Nutramost, which right. I personally went through, and I lost 30 pounds, and I'm growing on eight months now, haven't gained a single pound back. And I know several other people that have done it myself that I recommended that they got the same exact results. If you want to lose weight in the new year, that's the company to go check out. Vibrant Life Health Center, Life and Balance, uh, great people. Um, so, you know, we're talking about, you know, the, the presidential election. It was sort of a neat thing because it just happened. Um, and that was one of our, you know, top 15 articles for the year out of the 65 or so that we did during right. the year. Um, but I want people to understand how we also measure them because it's not just how many people watched, how many read them. So we had three or four articles that were big players. And what I mean by that, during the year, they had 3,000 plus page views. That's a lot of page views for any article that's brand new. Right. These aren't ones that are going back. Right. I mean, these are brand new articles from this year. So that's a big number for any year for us. Uh, one of the ones that really struck me as crazy that I didn't think it would do that was one that Carl wrote called, uh, Are You Able to Stomach the Internet of Food? Of food? Yeah. And, I thought that was, what, what the heck is that? We're going to talk about the Internet of Food, you know, the IoT of Food. And the reality is people ate it up, <laughs> if you will, because it was very interesting it stuff. Was, it was tasty. It was tasty. <laughs> it was a tasty 3,443 page views. Yeah. That was the number one article for the year. There you go. So you never know. I can yeah. put these off the wall right. things. You can't, you can't look at me funny. But then afterwards, yeah. it's like we get play. Well, I remember the first year. I got you, a game, baby. Yeah. I remember the first year you did the article, The World Wide Weird. And I thought, yeah. well, that was going to have one. Yeah. That, that article took off. People were into well, wait, the weird wait. stuff. Plus, we always do that as a little. Yeah, so now we added every, that. We yeah. added that to the show at the end we'll of the show because The yeah. World Wide Weird. Um, other things that were really good uh, at the beginning of the year was what's up with Wi-Fi because yeah. Wi-Fi is evolving and people wanted to know. And, and that's Wi-Fi is sort of like a vacuum cleaner, you know. You, you buy one every 10 years or something. Like, well, it's time to buy new Wi-Fi because it's changing. Yeah. You have not only have tri uh, bi uh, dual band Wi-Fi, you have now tri band Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. You have one with like nine antennas that it can... You can go over your house. Now yeah. you have modular Wi-Fi. Yeah, but it's going to be dueling Wi-Fi pretty soon because now, you know, like you're... They're going you to the laser Wi-Fi. Well, it's not only that, but I mean, even like your uh, your power meter now is, is basically Wi-Fi enabled right. too. So, I mean, you got Wi-Fis competing with wi fis It's amazing we don't just, right. you know, put our breakfast food out on the on the counter and it cooks right. by itself at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you go walk around and you start glowing after a little while. I'm telling you, man, I'm going to put some tin foil on my hat here, you know, to yeah. protect the brain. The number three article for the year, which was... It made sense. I mean, it was published in the beginning of the year. Is how to lose weight and keep it off in the 21st century. Mm -hmm. And in there, we talk about a lot of the new gadgets, you know, right. the smart watches and, and the new exercise machines mm -hmm. and all that. We also talked about Nutramost because that's a new technology. Right. The way they do it to help people burn fat. Because what it does is it it shows you how to stay in fat burning mode. Well, that's because you have to learn what, what your body likes to convert into right. fat right. and what puts you in and out of right. fat burning mode. So once you learn what your body likes to convert yeah. into fat and what your body keeps you in fat burning mode, mm -hmm. you could just eat the stuff that keeps you in fat burning mode and mm -hmm. you stay in fat burning mode and you lose weight until you hit e equilibrium. Yeah, but it's different for everybody. And it's different for everybody. So, so you have to go you get Right. Got to get metered. They have to, well, you know, check you out. Check because meter. I think that's one of the reasons why so many diets kind of crash and burn, right. because they're, they're all gen most of them are generic. Right. And you know, and, and like Dr. John says, if you use a generic diet, you're going to get generic results. Yeah. And and this, and their program, what's really neat about it is you lose weight very rapidly. I mean, we're talking every time you step on the scale, you lost a pound. I know. And, Which, and, and I wouldn't have believed it until I saw you do it. <laughs> I mean, and you kept it, you kept it off too. And, and really literally you, you jump on that scale and every day, instead of dreading right. getting on the scale where you got a gun to the scale, <laughs> like in that cartoon, you really want to get on the scale yeah. because you know, you have lost weight. Right. I mean, out of the 40 days, I lost weight 34 of those days. It's amazing. Which is pretty amazing to me. So, um, the next article was pretty cool. It was again was evolving. Mm -hmm. What's evolving on the web? And that was 
What's up with Web 3.0? Right. And all of these articles had 3,000 plus page views. Yeah, I okay, mean, people so, are still trying to get a handle on Web right. 2.0, and they're already talking right. about Web 3.0. And 3.0, you know, the just the, the main thing that's happening in 3.0 is artificial AI, intelligence. Yeah. I mean, artificial, AI enabled. AI enabled everything. I mean, yeah. think about it. Just now, instead of telling and typing in on Google, you know, what you want, you say, okay, Google, find this, and it goes right. out fine. Siri does the same thing, and so on. Your computers can do that when you have Cortana or whatever you Alexa, got. Alexa, you've got Alexa. You got Alexa can do up all this kind of stuff. Before long, your TV. I mean, if I go home with my Xfinity, yeah. Xfinity box, I could just say, uh, find me a movie that's about horror. Yeah, well, and I'll, it'll bring me up, you know, 50 well, of them. Let me tell you something that's a little bit freaky. For us, it's probably a little bit creepy. Yeah. But this is something that I read about, which could be a worldwide river. We're not going to do it on this episode. But oh, the literally, toys? No, no. Oh. Literally what it is, is because you get a lot of, especially the Japanese, they love, not only do they love bells and whistles, but a lot of the, their young people are what they call salarymen. In other words, they pretty much live to work. Mm. So they've literally got a box right now, and it's got a, like an anime kind of a th thing on it that comes, and it basically it's like your 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 personal assistant on steroids because what it'll do is it'll because this one when they're showing you the video of it, it's calling the guy at work saying you coming home yet? It's like what? My he's gonna nag me now, you know? <laughs> and, and you come home. I'm so glad you're here. It's like well, that's what I got a dog for, you know? What was, what was that? There was a science TV show that had that when you walked into the yeah. house and the computer greeted you. Yeah. And all that kind of stuff. Uh, I think that was uh, was one of those with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm trying to remember which one it was, yeah. but yeah. And, and even his friend, he was like, "You're getting a little too close, personal right. with this uh, AI." But but I mean, literally, they, they they think that's gonna be the next big thing in Japan. And once it hits there, of course, it'll it'll. Okay. And again, they got, they got Robo Gaga over there. Yeah. Right? It's almost like swords. Swords are robots in Japan. Right. It's like they're, they're out of control with that stuff. Um, one article I wanted to make worth mentioning, and this, this sort of happened hey, every year. Cook, if you could cook dinner, you'd marry the damn yeah, thing. Right. You know? Well, it's like <laughs> the guy going to sleep with uh, with Alexa. Yeah. You know? um, every year I write a prediction article. Mm -hmm. So, And, you know, I predicted last year that you write a prediction <laughs> article this year. <laughs> so this prediction article, when I write it, I mean, yeah. I do research in a different way. Um, I usually write the article, and then I do the research. Right. Yeah. You know? um, but this one, what was interesting about this one, it doubled our that week's uh, views. So when you look at all our other views, they're seeing they're going along, and all of a sudden there was a big spike, and I'm like, that's really unusual. What the hell happened? And we're not posting or something. And then when I really looked at the stats close, that article in the first hour had 300 page views in the first hour, which is unusual for us. Which meant it must have trended on, on Google or right. Facebook and, or something. And again, it got, it got some play. Again, when you when you're at when you write an article, and you can. Catch the wave of the trend. Right. It can really launch you. So this is something, that if you're a blogger, that's something you really yeah. want to be thinking about, trending and so on. So that was something that I thought was very interesting that happened to us. So those were the big articles. I mean, we had other, plenty of them. They were in the 2,800, 2,900 size. Right. Uh, but all those other ones that we talked about were in the 3,000-plus in the range. Now, another way you should be looking at your articles when you're, when you're doing this is how many people are plussing them, Me meaning they said they yeah. really liked it, mm -hmm. okay? Because that's another way of gauging the popularity of the article. Although Google is not paying attention to that as much as they used to because they really want to sell you something. Right. Okay? It still shows people that, that other people liked it. And on top of that, if they comment on it, uh -huh. if they go through the trouble of commenting on it, I don't mean spamming you because we get lots of spam. People saying, yeah, we're the best SEO company in India and uh -huh. that kind of stuff regularly. But plusing you is a big thing. We had four articles that were, had 10 plus and we had... Uh, a bunch of them, uh, I want to say four, there were 11, and then we had five, there were 12, one was 13, and one was 15. So I'm going to sort of go through the countdown. Okay, which one was the 15? I uh, believe it or not, it was to blog or not to auto blog. Oh, okay, the auto blogging one, huh? And that was very interesting that that was the one that had the yeah. most 15. I did have the most page reads, but then again, it was post posted in the middle of the year, so we don't know how many right. page reads it'll get. Um, but let's go back to the, the four tens because okay, these are, these are big ones. Okay. Uh, there was one called the state of internet privacy and security in America, yeah. and that got a lot of play for obvious reasons to me because you know the hacking is like out of control. Right. You know, so people are paying attention to that finally because we've been talking about it seriously for six years, mm -hmm. and now people are starting to look at that. And that article was probably read and handed around a lot because it has like links to twenty four other articles. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was a that was a big deal there. Uh, a couple of ones that I I didn't expect to be in the list. One was seven myths that entrepreneurial entrepreneurs often believe that lead to big mistakes. Now, obviously, there's a lot of new entrepreneurs. There's a lot of people out of work or something yeah. like that. So people are trying to figure out that kind of stuff. And then the the last two that I I didn't really think we made the list with 
The Planet of the Apps, The Good, The Bad, and The Funny. And that's a, an article about apps. That was written by Danny. Mm -hmm. One of and her then, writers. Yeah, and that was pretty cool. And then telemedicine, is there a doctor in your browser? Right, and we've actually covered that topic several right. times because it keeps evolving. And when we did that show, we actually had a, a, one of the telemedicine doctors right. locally call in who does telemedicine mm -hmm. regularly, and that was an interesting well, that's show. That's the big difference now today. You know, you don't have to go to the doctor. The doctor right. comes to you. Right. <laughs> I mean, a lot of times, they don't, you know, you go to the doctor and you got to pay them a bunch of money. In many cases, they're not doing anything. If they want to take your blood pressure, they can actually do it remotely. Yeah, well, plus the fact the worst place to be when you're sick is in a doctor's office because right. whatever you didn't have, you're going to catch. Right. Well, not <laughs> that. I mean, you can put the cuff on, mm -hmm. take the thing in, and show them to, to the yeah. camera. I mean, you don't have to physically be there. They, they give them that information. So that was a, an interesting show that we did. And I know the doctor really, uh, they called in and gave us a whole bunch of mm -hmm. tips on that show. So if you listen to that show, uh, you can find it on Blog Talk Radio, obviously. It was pretty cool. So the next step up was the, uh, the 11. plus 11s. Mm -hmm. And... That's where the presidential candidate one was in. That was in there. It was the top of there. Uh, but one that I thought was very surprising was one you wrote. Was, Read any good book, e-books lately. Right. And it was about how e-books have created a bunch of millionaires. Yeah. Yeah. There's there some, some people that really got a lot of plan. In fact, we're trying to figure out how to do it ourselves. Right. Well, think about it. I mean, before, the book industry really had really tight control. If you wanted to it be still able does. to... still does. Yeah. The print book industry does. Yeah, the the e-book, not so much. Right. But... There was a bunch of people that made, you know, eight, nine, ten million dollars selling ebooks. Yep. Okay. And we it's have a good, several. It's a nice job if you can get it. Right. So again, so. that was a that was a cool article and it got a lot of play. Uh, the next one was uh, getting faked out on Facebook, and, and the reason I wrote that is it happened to me. I mean, I All have right. a bunch of you know Facebook pages mm -hmm. because I have books and so on, and somebody went and copied one of mine. Right. So. That's how it led me to write that article, right. and I yeah, talked about you know what to look for account. and all that kind yeah. of stuff, so other people don't get spoofed. And of course, we had the evolution of touch marketing. So, so the next level um, was midnight. Do you know where your data is? That was about internet security. Then we got into the three phases of marketing, the changing faces of online video, and the attributes of a successful entrepreneur. And all those articles were about marketing. Yeah, and uh, how what are you going to do? You know, those to kinds of things like online. that. Sure. And then we had the top 10 techno turkeys that Carl wrote, which is about what were the biggest flubs in 2016. That was her, And we did it around mm -hmm. Thanksgiving, so that's why I had the title. And then the magic of using a cloud-based calendar, which most people don't really pay attention to those right. kinds of things. So those were really cool. But the last one, which was the top, it got 15 pluses. And that's the most pluses any article has ever gotten to Mars. Right. At least in one year. Uh, and that's the to blog, I mean to auto blog or not to auto blog, and that's the question. And the reason I think that that got a lot of plays because a lot of people think they can do auto blog, right? And they don't realize that auto blogging well, is not blogging, right? Well, the thing is too. Here's the problem. Okay, most people are always looking for a shortcut, right? And, and the thing is, when you really think about it, because I mean, you know, I mean, I, I write about four or five blogs a week, right? Between us and the clients that I write for, and blogging is not that hard. I mean, even to write a really good in-depth article, you look at it. Basically, you know, two of these, two two pages of printed text. If you can't come up with two pages of printed text, don't bother. <laughs> because it's not that hard to do. And most of the research can be done, you know, right on the And here's the, here's the thing. If you have if you're a bad speller, if you have bad grammar, there are programs now that'll help you. They practically do it for you. Right. I mean they go through and they say, No, you gotta change this. And even if you don't understand what they're saying, in most cases, if you take the program's right. advice, yeah. it will improve whatever yeah. the heck okay. you did. And, and the whole point of blogging is it's kind of like a personal commentary. It gives you a chance right. to have your opinion. Well, autoblogging takes that all away from you. It's like, why even bother doing it? Well, not only that. Most of the times, the autoblogging programs are plagiarizing right. other people. Right. They're, they're breaking the law in some way, shape, or form. And eventually, that's going to come back and bite you. Google doesn't like it. No. Google thinks it's it's spamming and all that well, kind of stuff. It's cheating. It really so it's is. cheating. Yeah. And, and again, if you do it, it actually hurts your position it yeah. doesn't help your position um, I know we don't have any much time left and in, in for the show I want to make sure that I, I tell everybody you know I hope you had a Merry Christmas because I just was last week uh, happy Hanukkah Kwanzaa you know New Year's coming up <laughs> if you haven't done all those things you know we hope you have a great one thank you for patronizing us all year I want to remind you to patronize uh, vibrant life health center and life in balance They're great people really take care of you very very competitive pricing um, and check out all the wealth of information that we put out for you because whether you like to listen to it, read it, or watch it, we've got you covered. We've got all the flavors that you could possibly want. And, and again, we, we, not only, we not only do this, but we teach it to all of our listeners and readers. 
And again, if you're stuck in with your marketing and you're looking for something, we have special program for all. As a matter of fact, right now we have a new program come out where if you buy a social media or search directory push product, you buy one, get one free. Yeah, plus speaking yeah, of free, a killer one of the, deal. That's and one a, of the things we always give away for free, which is worth, I mean, a lot to most businesses, is we will do a free top to bottom online web presence analysis that looks at every piece of your web presence and shows you how to basically get in the game right. or how to take your game to the next level, and that costs you absolutely nothing. Yeah. So for our listeners, make sure you go to the notes page. Mm-hmm. There's lots of good stuff there. And for our Club WQ members, go to the Dropbox, and you'll get all the cool stuff. And other than that, until 2017, keep working the web to win, gang. Until next time, guys. Ho, ho, ho.